So you all set? Ready to go? Yeah, I'm excited, man. We, uh, we've got these Harley CVOs we're gonna take out on a camping trip and we're loaded for bear, man. So we've been riding for 10 years. Yeah. We've been doing two lane life for a year. Yeah. And we are actually, this is the first time we're going camping. Well, we were glampers. I mean, we'd just <laughs> go into motels. Right, but now we're actually no motel and we're gonna pitch tents. We're gonna get you back in the dirt. Oh, uh, I'm really excited. He hasn't been in the dirt for years. And this could be a whole new adventure and a whole new thing that we start doing. Yeah, it could be really cool. So, hey, look, uh, Josh is gonna be with us. Uh, he's driving his truck, he broke his wrist, and his, his low rider is in the shop. It blew up and they're still working on it. So I know if it was here today, He'd just kind of do a little thing and he'd be on the throttle, but right. we need those shots. We need the shots and he has to go with us and he's gonna go and yeah. that's the way. I'm not gonna ride him, Yep. so he's gotta take his own truck. You don't wanna <laughs> put him on the back? I mean, you got plenty of room. We actually could, but you know. I'm, I'm stuffed. Right, so. I don't know if I packed, I mean, this is like really interesting, but hey. I got the stove in here, we've got propane, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna cook dinner, breakfast, and have a great time on, on a great, beautiful river. Yeah, so, so hey, we'll see you down, down the, the road. road. LC, what's happening, dude? Well, we're cruising up I-5 in Gorman. There's a little bit of uh, frosting left on top of the mountains from the last storm we had, and we are headed to where? Yeah, there's some dusting up there, and uh, we are headed to Kern. Uh, we're going to a campground that's right on the river. Should be uh, pretty beautiful this time of year up there. It's going to be a little cool tomorrow morning and this evening, but hey, this is what we do. Yeah, we're going to have a fire and just have a good time and uh, talk about some great things. And you know the Kern River is the only wild and scenic river in the Sierra Nevada mountain range. It is the only wild and scenic river in the Sierra mountain range. Uh, don't 100% quote me on that, but I know it's one of them, if not the only. Gotcha. Huh. Well, that's an interesting fun fact. Yeah, Ronald Reagan uh, designated it in 1985, I think, or somewhere in the 80s. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and it's the only river in the uh, Sierra Nevada mountain range that goes from north to south, and it's the longest river in the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Um, and it comes from Mount Whitney, 14,000 feet plus elevation. Yeah, that's... Uh... Pretty cool, and it's cool that you were able to run that river, both the upper and lower forks. Yeah, upper, uh, the forks of the Kern, the upper Kern, and the lower Kern below the lake. Yeah. So yeah, we've been up here a few times, and you know, but we've always been glamping. We're gonna check this out and see how it goes. We've got the stove in the backpack here. Uh, we've got our tents and our sleeping bags and some air mattresses, and uh, We'll stop at the store when we get up here and grab some grub and some supplies and hey, we'll put it down tonight. Right, might have to get a couple cigars as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a good time and, and look, you know, this may be something we have to do every so often. I'm kind of pumped right now and I'm thinking that this could be something really, uh, a new adventure for us. We don't have to do it all the time, but we certainly can, you know? Yeah, I mean, Jace was calling us out on our live the other day, you know, saying that we don't get out in the dirt. So, Jace, this one's for you, buddy. <laughs> we are getting out in the dirt. Yeah, here's Tahone Ranch. You got the beautiful lake over there. Just ran up through, saw Lake Pyramid. Uh, we're at about 3,600 feet. When we get up to Kernville, well, what are we going to be, like 5,500, 5, 6,000? Uh, in Kernville proper, I think it's still around 3,500 feet there. Oh, is it? Okay, but we'll run up and go up, get up a little bit higher. Try to get up to Johnsondale maybe today. Get some good footage. Enjoy uh, the whole day riding around up there and get back and cook up a, a nice dinner and uh, spend the night by the river and then head out in the morning and get some epic footage there too. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a good uh, good day, good night, and uh, you know, a good tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see where we end up tomorrow. You know, we've been talking about going through over Bodfish down into Caliente Hot Springs, but we'll see where the day takes us. Yeah, I'm excited, and uh, hey, we will see you down the road. Down the road. ALC. Hey, what's going on? We are in Kern Canyon. We are in the canyon. We've been up here a number of times, but it's uh, never disappoints when we're going through this, watching the water kind of cruise down through here. No, it's always a good time. And, we, and because we're going to be camping, you know, it's going to be a, a different adventure for us. So that's good. Yeah, and you know, it's pretty low right now. Um, but we've been here when the it's almost up to the edges here. Not quite that high, but you know, you know what I mean. You know, there's so much graffiti I'm seeing, and it's amazing that people graffiti on a river like this. I mean, come on, people, wake up and stop doing this kind of bull Oh, my goodness. I don't disagree. You know? So could you go back to the comment? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just kind of lost my mind right there. I got you, know? you. I'm with you. And, you know, that dude, uh, anyways, we've seen the river pretty high, but let's get back to the... That dude that came up here uh, started the Kern River Con Conservancy. What is it? Con Conservancy. Conservancy. Yes. Uh, pretty cool. You know, he spent a, a good year and a half, two years, kind of cleaning up the whole area here. Yeah. You know, maybe uh, we can have a conversation with him. You never know. Yeah, we'll check it out. I mean, I think the last few posts he was showing that they were actually cleaning off the graffiti. Yeah, they're doing a great job. They do a lot of hard work, so. Yeah. The Kern River Conservancy. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, well, let's uh, get up to Kern and find our campground. You got it, man. All right, we'll see you down the road. Later. So we've uh, made it up into the Kern Kernville Valley. Yeah, we just went through Wolford Heights. We uh, carved that canyon. That was great. We 
Gilbert was out playing around. That was cool to see him out again. Yes, yes. So yeah, we're we're at uh, about 2,700 feet above sea level, and it's uh, 67 degrees. But man, it sure feels like it's up in the mid 70s. Yeah, it does. Well, we got our uh, Atlas jackets on, and uh, we're probably have to take some layers off, right? Yeah, I took a layer off down at the mouth of the canyon, but. Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty comfy. It's just when we're stopped, you know, it gets pretty warm. So if you see off to the right over here, this is the old golf course. Yeah. They let it uh, die out and overgrow, and uh, I guess there's no more golfing here. Yeah, it's too bad. You know, this was a fun little place to come play a little uh, short round of golf, and they had a, a shack there that had uh, ice cold beers and hamburgers. Yeah, you know, it probably, uh, Right there. When when you lived here and you were retired and you had this little golf course here, it was uh, something you probably looked forward to. Now, I guess you just have to get into fly fishing and uh, some other mountain adventures. Well, there's still a ton to do. You're right. Like, you can fish. You can river raft it when it's uh, open and available. You can uh, camp up here, hiking, mountain biking. Uh, you got it all up here. Welcome to Kernville. There's also dual sports there's uh you know motocross riding uh dirt bikes up in the high country you got access up to kennedy meadows there is a lot you can do here and look how that park is packed yeah and it's midweek you know the other thing and we've come through here we did a drop with uh, tony p uh we went up to the grove of the hunter giant so you know it's not that far away either and you can see the the large redwood trees pretty amazing yes so we're going to cross the bridge here this is the kern river i take it are you going to run into me yeah there's the mighty kern right there a little low not but, looking too mighty today well it's not low it's just this river is uh snow fed and snow pack and it won't start coming up until uh april may and then it's like june yeah if it's a good snow year it'll last to july well we'll run up a little bit uh towards johnsondale this afternoon and see if we can check out some snow yeah we'll pull in here and we'll uh we'll go to uh, river nook campground and uh see what that's gonna be like yep over the hill here and uh off to our left it should be pretty cool yeah and this is the town of Kernville. There's their elementary school. Um, you got the brewery, some restaurants here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we either uh, will come back to here and do a little shopping or we'll see what the uh, campground has. But uh, looking forward to pulling in here and unloading and get some lunch in us. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens next. Yes, so it should be right around this corner up here right around the bend here we've stayed here that's called the whispering pine lodge yeah that was pretty cool they treated us really uh, great there yeah she made us breakfast this is us here yes uh next one up river nook uh really we've got an rv stationed up here and we're not gonna camp <laughs> <laughs> yeah buddy <laughs> If I recall, I've stayed here with uh, the family a few times and when we had the trailer, and uh, we got to go check in first. Yeah, so? So here we are. All right, let's see what they have to say. So I'll see you at the campground. You got it. Well, here we are, uh, home sweet home for the night. We're going to be in spots 101 and 102. Got a creek that runs through the middle of this. We got a couple of them actually. And then you're uh, right onto the river here. So pretty dope. So, uh, pulled into River Nook. We are right on the Kern River. It's beautiful. 
It is really great. I mean, it's it's winter time, but it's it's almost spring, so it's very warm right now. It feels good. Yeah, it's like 68 degrees, but on the back, it feels like we're in 70, 80 degree weather. So, so we're we're uh, putting up tents. I need you to push that side down, and then we'll stake it in. We'll get yours set up. This is my OG tent. This hasn't seen the light of day for a number of years. There it is. There it is. Boom. Look at that sucker. We're in. Tie that off. Did you stake it in? I will stake it after. I want to just move it around and get it in the best spot. And I think I'm going to put my door this towards way. the water. Whoa, nice. I've got a beachfront view. There you go. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get working on yours. Off to work we go. Heel, heel, heel. <laughs> What do you got going there? Well, I can not only sleep on this baby, this is old school. You guys have these pads you roll up, I don't know. <laughs> I can sleep on this tonight and then I can drop it in the river tomorrow. And float down. I creek. can float all the way down. Well, we got our tent set up and uh, Josh is here, I'm here, Galen's condo is over there. Yeah, I'm on the water. He's on the water. Very front. expensive over here. Uh, we're almost done setting up camp. And it'll be cool because we get to hear the river all night. We're going to have our fire going. We're going to make a great dinner. This is awesome. Yeah, and uh, that took a while to blow the... Oh, I had the oh. blower. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, moto camping at its best. Uh, lo uh, we're going to do axe contest tonight. Oh, throw it. Yeah, no, we'll go yeah. right by Josh's ear. <laughs> yeah. All so, right, well, let's go get some grub. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's make it happen. Oh. <sighs> What you got there, buddy? I got myself a Dank Street IPA. Dank Street it is, uh, IPA. Let's see how that color let's looks. Check that out. Why don't you slow that floor down just a little? Doesn't look far off of this sucker right here. It's pretty dank. I got a uh, something. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, it's a blonde little uh, uh, fruity cocktail. Yeah, because I don't like hoppy beers, man. I'm not into hoppy, hoppy, poppy, floppy beers. Gotcha. This is a double day IPA. Whoa. It's going to double your day. <laughs> hey guys, uh, we are here at Eddie Out. Uh, it's a new place in Kernville. They've been open almost a year uh, or a year in April and Jamie the owner that owns this as well as where we're staying in the campground, River Nook. Which we will be camping which we later. Which we'll be camping, but we're eating some grub and wanted to come try her food. So, hey Jamie, how are you? And I'm good. Thanks for having us and just wondering, tell us a little bit about Eddie Out and maybe about the campground, but first Eddie Out. Okay, so it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, so I manage at the campground, all of that. And... Um, the owner, the other owner, Amanda, we were sitting and drinking beer and decided... Up here in Kern? I know, right? <laughs> well, we were, we were ideally talking about the beer fest and then that led, you know, into, hey, let's open a tap house. We, you know, we know all these breweries. Right. It'd be really great to have just an independent tap house. And so we started a mission looking for places and um, it took us... I want to say about a year. We were really looking for a place, talking about it. Didn't really think it was going to happen. And then it was Whiskey Flat Weekend. Yeah. And um, which, which is a big event here in Kernville. So you'll have to look up Whiskey Flats because actually she's the mayor two yeah. years running of Whiskey <laughs> Flats. So, so it was a big event. It's a big event. There's like 60,000 people that come to town. So we were celebrating me winning Whiskey Flat Mayor with my husband. <laughs> and we're like... Let's do this tap house. And I want to say about three weeks later, we signed papers here. Wow. wow. So well, the, the menu, what? Well, is? I'll tell you, you go inside the restaurant and it's um, really awesome. It's, it's set up nicely. I mean, if we were inside there, we'd be so, because it's kind of, they made it like a living room. It's really oh, neat. And I will say, this cabbage soup is bomb. Um, nice. So yeah, the fries are fried in sunflower oil, which not a lot of places do. They taste incredible. They have this Eddie sauce, 
It reminds me of my sauce, uh, fried sauce from Utah. It's ah. just out in this world. So a little home cooking for me. Right on. There you go. But So here's a cool place in Kernville and someone that lives here that's kicking butt and making things happen. And we dig that. Come check them out. All right. And we will see you down the road. So what do we got going here? We're doing a little grocery shopping. I mean, so we got, what well, we got? Why are we going with those? Uh, what, what do we got going on here? Those are flaming hot. Oh, you like that? I've never had them. You might like it. Well, hey, what's this? What do we got going here? Uh, are we? Do we have any meat or anything in there? Yeah, I think we do. So. Oh, oh, we got some that's rib all we got here. Ribeyes. Got a couple of sausages. We got just bacon. To hang out. We oh. got some bacon. Veggies. We're gonna do a veggie stir up. Beef jerky. What do we got? Uh, we got some beef jerky, some pickles. We got some pickles. A couple bananas. Uh, it's gonna be so easy tonight. You know, we got the we got the eggs for tomorrow morning. Yeah, organic eggs. We had to get those. So yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we're here at the Sierra Gateway store, and we are in Kernville enjoying this. So for the drinking games this time. Well, you have to straight. drink every time we say Kernville. We were That's going part to, of the drinking game. We were going to cut a tree down for our fire, but I think yeah. we're going to just get two bundles. Bindles? Bundles. 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 We're getting two bundles. Yeah, that's how we're doing it. And now. by the way, where we're staying, we could get them over at the campground, Stuart. Really? Yeah. Oh. They're right there. We'll just walk over and grab them. All right, there you go. Cool. Fireside later. So... In the spirit of how we roll, Josh is getting hooked up. Got myself a new hat, baby. Yo. So we just got back from the store. We got our grub for tonight. What are we eating tonight? Yeah, we got a couple ribeyes. Uh, we got some veggies. We got some fresh garlic. Gonna pan fry that. We're gonna grill these ribeyes up. I think some of you may have seen our Figueroa mountain run with the ladies. And we have this trusty bag with our Coleman stove inside of it. So we're gonna take this off the bike here. We're gonna pull it out. Inside, I'll let you hang on to this, my trusty friend. Well, I think I saw some stuff in the grocery bags. It might've been like uh, tequila, vodka, whiskey, uh, I, don't I don't know. I don't know if we wanna tell the viewers that. Oh, why not? It's a, gonna be a beautiful night tonight, you know? So I'm just glad no one hit me in the back end. We might've had a little of explosion there. <laughs> and here's right? the trusty grill that fried up beans and also had uh, some bison burgers on them. We did, and those were good. Those were good. So, yeah, we're going to cook this up, but I think we'll run up river for a little bit. But in the meantime, we're kind of set up. I mean, it's going to be a real peaceful night. We're going to hear the sound of the river all night. The stars are going to be great. We have our village we built here. So over here you have Josh's uh, apartment my condo, Galen's townhome. Yeah, so, I paid extra for that. I think we're all set. Uh, we got our ducks over here, fire pit, boom. So what, see them down the road? See you down the road. Road. Uh, we're just out for a really neat evening run here. Um, uh, we're gonna look at South Lake, I think, and then we'll come back and start cooking dinner and have a good time at the camp. We're having a blast so far. It's a unique time for us, and uh, you know, we, we wanted to see the sunset, so hey. Yeah, we just got back from a sunset cruise. It was beautiful. Saw the South Lake. It's a little bit low right now, but that's to be expected. Got some great rollers. Came back to camp, started the fire. The boys want to eat. So, hey, we got a couple sausages, uh, hot Italian we're going to do for the appetizer. 
just diced up some shallots, took some fresh garlic. Can you see that over there? Not bad. We'll cut those up as a little appetizer. Yep, yep. We got our bag full of goodies here with the uh, vegetables. We got a couple ribeyes. Let me just open, open that those sucker up. up. Oh, so you may want to get some of the seasoning. We can at least put some seasoning on these to start with. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, what right are we going to do? Throw those right on the grill, or yeah, we're going to grill those. Gotcha. All right. But cool. you know. I thought we'd have a little appetizer before we uh, start those. I mean, yeah, and look, I mean, you can hear the wonderful river up, up river there. The sun is just, or not the sun, but the light of the sky is still lighting up the river. And, and uh, I hear a lot of quackers out there. Yeah, there, there are a lot of uh, mallard duck running around. Are we going to uh, play guitar or anything? We don't do that, right? Josh brought his, so, um, you know, maybe we'll <laughs> sing around the campfire, man. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, really cool. I mean, this is my home for the night, right here. <laughs> and uh, mm, it does a, have a pad in it's there. It's been a while. That's my home on the highway. This is kind of cool. Um, yeah, we're stoked about this. We're gonna so. do this a lot more, so. you know, Are I, we? Are you into it now? I'm totally into it. And uh, What's that? Oh, I just. Uh, that looks like a little berry juice. Yeah, it's a little bottle. You know, they had it at the grocery store, and you just... Whoa. Now, uh, we see a little bit of cloud cover coming in, don't we? Yeah, we might have some rain tonight, but hey, I'm equipped, you're equipped. We need to get the cover on Josh's tent, because uh, <laughs> he may get a little bit light. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. All right, let's eat. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see you down the dinner table. Uh, this is... Uh... We had a bratwurst failure. Gotta watch these you know, pretty closely. Here. All these. We got some ribeye. We got uh, the sausage. Everything's looking good on this end. Next step, we're gonna take those sausage off. We're going to throw our frying pan on and throw some butter in it and uh, fire up those veggies. Yeah. 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 See what I'm talking about there? So, last week we were uh, up in Julian at a, a fantastic uh, Italian steakhouse. Yeah. And tonight we're in Camp Kern eating steak and veggies. Right. And this is awesome. Not bad. I mean, um, hey. <laughs> That's what you do when you're out on the road. You yeah, find so, steak and veggies. Yeah, we've got a cool campfire. Again, we're here listening to the river. We're eating our veggies and steak. And then we're going to just continue to have fun tonight. You actually might like this more often. Oh, I, I'm liking it right now. We're trying to set you up with steak this time. <laughs> I can do whatever. Next time it's just going to be hot dogs. we got to get just a few things dialed in and I think we're good. Yeah. Very good, Not very bad. good. Yeah. Josh had a salt, uh, a salt blowout. Salt blowout, and uh, well, the shaker kind of broke off. The lid is kind of not there. Yeah, dumped uh, eight courses of salt all over <laughs> the plate. But he's a trooper. He's trying right. to. He's got another piece over here. Yeah, he can dive in. You know, it's rested enough. Can't wait to see what breakfast is like. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, see you around the campfire. Yeah. What an incredible run. Totally. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's been high water, or low water. You got a little bit mad about the graffiti, which I agree with. Yeah, man. But now we're here. We're chilling. We're having a great time. Enjoying what we like to do most. I mean. Which is ride. When you ride your Harley and you go places, and you see all these cool different things. I mean, ever-changing weather, um, the conditions of the roads, the places you end up, you see things that you didn't know you were gonna see. I mean, that's the stuff that inspires me to keep going because it's like, it's an ever-changing, ever-evolving. I mean, here we are sitting on a river. We're listening to the sound of the, the river going over the rocks. 
there's tons of stars up in the sky. Um, you know, usually we're in a hotel, but a cool hotel that we find in some cool town. And now we're in tents on the bank of the Kern River, and that's a whole nother adventure after so many years of riding. That's what I dig about it. <laughs>